There you go, little guy. And go on now. Ah, what a scam. Oh! Hello! I'm sorry I didn't see you there. I suppose you're back for some more programming advice. Right this way. My father would often tell me, if you tell a man how to fish, then he'll be able to fish a lot for himself or something along those lines. And that is, today, what I'm going to teach you to do. If you hang out in any elite programming circles, then you may have seen the word IntelliSense thrown around. IntelliSense is a portmanteau of the words intelligent and sense. It refers to the process within Microsoft Visual Studio to allow you to visualize the relationships between your classes, functions, and variables. Today, I will be giving you some pointers on how to use this wonderful tool to help you solve problems and more easily understand your code base. By typing three slashes above a function, class, or property, you will be allowed to write a short summary of what the function, class, or property does. When referenced elsewhere, you can mouse over it in order to see a summary of what you wrote. This is very useful for understanding what a function does or leaving notes about special ways in which it may need to be used. Additionally, by right-clicking the function and clicking Go to Definition, you will be taken to the line and file where the function is defined. This will further help you piece together disparate pieces of code throughout your code base. If you look at the top right-hand corner of the text editing window, you will see a drop-down box that will allow you to view every property and function in a given class. Any grayed-out options or functions are properties defined in a partial class. Clicking any of these will take you to the line and file where it is defined. This can be very useful for seeing all the functions and properties a class has at a quick glance. When deriving your class from a base class, typing override and then space will bring up a list of methods that you're allowed to override. Pressing enter will autocomplete the function definition for you. This allows you to very quickly see which methods you can override from a base class and saves you a lot of time down the road. Finally, if you right-click on the function, property, or class and click Find All References, you will be given a list of everywhere that function, class, or property is used. This can be very useful for finding where functions are being made and where variables are being set, or even where objects are being referenced and created. And, as simple as that, those are the basics of using IntelliSense. Use this tool to help you explore and understand code bases in organic fashion. You'd be surprised just how much you can learn just by tracing the steps of where a function is defined and called. Until next time, this has been Dr. Dial-Up's Sandbox Programming Crash Course. Stay connected and stay self-corrected. Goodbye.